Hi, today we're diving into a world where art and atmosphere come together in a unique way. Get ready to explore the top 20 most atmospheric games with pixel graphics. These games prove that you don't need cutting-edge visuals to create an immersive experience. From hauntingly beautiful landscapes to captivating storylines, each game on this list showcases the incredible potential of pixel art. Whether you're a fan of retro aesthetics or just love a good atmosphere, this list has something special for you. Let's get started. Zanabi is a dynamic pixel platformer that immerses players in a dark cyberpunk world. The protagonist, a former soldier with a chain hook for an arm, fights against the mysterious Sanabi organization in a desolate megacity. The game stands out with its unique style, engaging gameplay, and well-thought-out level design. The grappling hook is a key mechanic that provides thrilling platforming and combat experiences. Despite minor flaws, the game impresses with its captivating storyline, atmosphere, and excellent music, making Sanabi a worthy representative of its genre. Dome Keeper combines familiar gameplay mechanics to create something fresh and recognizable. The game involves mining resources and defending your dome against waves of attacking creatures, using built-in weaponry instead of traditional tower defense structures. Between waves, you dig underground to uncover resources for various upgrades. The primary challenge is time management and efficiency, with no underground dangers. Defending the dome requires strategic prioritization of targets and abilities, as well as effective preparation through upgrades. Different enhancements work better against different types of enemies, influencing your resource mining strategy. Blasphemous 2 is a continuation of the original game that builds upon its strengths while introducing new elements. Set in a dark and intricate world inspired by Spanish art and culture, the game retains its signature challenging platforming and combat mechanics. Players once again take on the role of the Penitent One, navigating through beautifully grim environments filled with grotesque and imaginative designs. The sequel introduces new weapons and abilities, allowing for more varied combat strategies and deeper exploration. The game's narrative remains rich and enigmatic, with plenty of lore to uncover through interactions with NPCs and exploration of its detailed environments. The addition of new weapons, such as a flail and a massive sword, adds variety to the combat system, making encounters feel fresh and dynamic. Blasphemous 2 also features improved graphics and smoother gameplay, enhancing the overall experience while staying true to the dark and haunting atmosphere that fans of the original loved. Rain World offers a unique and challenging experience in a desolate, beautifully crafted world where survival is key. Players take on the role of a vulnerable creature known as a slug cat, navigating a harsh ecosystem filled with predators and environmental hazards. The game emphasizes exploration and adaptability, with its complex AI-driven creatures and dynamic weather systems that create an unpredictable and immersive experience. The visual design is stunning, featuring hand-drawn animations and atmospheric landscapes that enhance the sense of isolation and struggle for survival. The world of Rain World is both haunting and mesmerizing, inviting players to delve deeper into its mysteries while constantly pushing them to their limits. Carrion offers a unique twist on the horror genre by placing players in the role of the monster instead of the victim. In this reverse horror game, you control a shapeless, amorphous creature escaping from a high-security research facility. The game excels in creating a sense of power and menace, allowing you to use your tentacles to navigate through vents, smash through doors, and devour terrified scientists and soldiers. The fluid movement and the ability to grow and evolve by consuming your enemies give a thrilling sense of progression as you become an increasingly formidable threat. The game's pixel art style and atmospheric sound design contribute to its eerie and immersive environment. The facility's labyrinth and structure encourages exploration and experimentation, as you must use your abilities creatively to overcome obstacles and solve puzzles. Hyper Light Drifter is a visually stunning action-adventure game that captivates players with its striking pixel art and atmospheric soundtrack. 
Set in a mysterious and decaying world, the game follows a drifter afflicted with a terminal illness, exploring ancient ruins and battling fierce enemies to uncover the secrets of a forgotten civilization. The gameplay is reminiscent of classic 16-bit titles, combining tight, responsive controls with challenging combat and intricate level design. Players must master a variety of weapons and abilities to survive and progress, with each encounter demanding precision and strategy. The game's narrative is conveyed through environmental storytelling and cryptic visual cues, eschewing traditional dialogue or text. This minimalist approach to storytelling enhances the sense of mystery and encourages players to piece together the lore on their own. Hyper Light Drifter's world is rich with hidden secrets and optional challenges, rewarding exploration and curiosity. Kingdom Two Crowns. The game continues the successful series with a unique blend of microstrategy and side-view kingdom management. Players take on the role of a monarch who travels through their lands, hires citizens, builds structures, and defends against nightly monster attacks. A distinctive feature is the use of gold as the primary resource and element of health. The game impresses with its visual aesthetics and design, despite occasional moments when the controls may feel insufficient. It successfully balances simplicity and complexity, increasing challenges with each new island. Additionally, the variety of game modes adds new possibilities and freshness to the gameplay. Morbid, The Seven Acolytes is a dark and atmospheric action RPG that combines elements of horror punk and Lovecraftian lore with a Souls-like gameplay experience. Players assume the role of the last surviving striver, tasked with defeating seven monstrous acolytes controlled by malevolent deities. The game is rich in gruesome details and challenging combat, requiring strategic use of various weapons and skills to overcome nightmarish enemies. Despite some issues with navigation and inventory management, the game succeeds in delivering a compelling and bloody adventure. Tales Noir is a captivating narrative-driven adventure set in a dystopian world of anthropomorphic animals. The game features Howard Loder, a raccoon detective navigating the crime-ridden streets of a noir-inspired Vancouver. The game initially engages players with its rich storytelling, intricate pixel art visuals, and a hauntingly atmospheric soundtrack. As Howard, players unravel a mystery involving a missing person case, which soon spirals into uncovering deeper societal issues and secrets within the animal kingdom. Despite its strong start, the latter part of the game shifts into more surreal and abstract themes, which may not resonate with all players. The gameplay focuses heavily on exploration and dialogue, with some light puzzle-solving elements but lacks in substantial interactivity and gameplay depth. Tales of the Neon Sea is an adventure indie game with a cyberpunk detective theme. The game is set in a future where humans and robots coexist after a war. Players follow Rex, a private detective, on his quest to catch a serial killer named Noah. Gameplay primarily revolves around solving intricate puzzles, gathering clues, and exploring a richly designed pixel art world. The narrative unfolds through notes and dialogues, immersing players in a compelling story filled with mystery and robotic intrigue. Death Trash is a unique blend of post-apocalyptic RPG and action elements. The game stands out with its distinct visual style and dynamic combat system, which includes melee attacks, firearms, stealth, and active skills. Players explore a world filled with grotesque, fleshy landscapes, reminiscent of classic Fallout games, but with a stronger focus on action rather than traditional RPG elements. The gameplay emphasizes direct control and real-time combat, diverging from the skill check mechanics typical of classic RPGs. The game's pixel art style helps mitigate the potential disgust from its visceral content, creating a visually distinctive experience. While the game lacks extensive dialogue options and in-depth role-playing mechanics, it compensates with a well-designed, action-packed gameplay loop and an intriguing, fleshy post-apocalyptic setting. The Rewinder is a captivating adventure game set in ancient China, where players assume the role of Yun, 
one of the last rewinders who can travel back in time to alter the past. The game boasts stunning pixel art reminiscent of Chinese hand scroll paintings, creating a unique visual experience. Players navigate through two main villages, solving puzzles and interacting with spirits and mythical creatures to restore balance. Despite some repetitive elements and challenging action sequences, the game's rich cultural setting and emotional narrative make it a compelling experience. Vern, The Shape of Fantasy is an engaging side-scrolling adventure inspired by the works of Jules Verne, where players navigate a steampunk world featuring Verne himself and Captain Nemo. The game revolves around their quest to find the lost power of Atlantis and thwart the antagonist and his oppressive nation. The gameplay blends exploration, puzzles, and storytelling, though the puzzles are on the easier side. The pixel art visuals are detailed, and the audio, featuring classical music and ambient sounds, enhances the immersive experience. Delver is a retro first-person roguelike dungeon crawler that immerses players in procedurally generated labyrinths filled with monsters, traps, and treasures. Each playthrough starts with random items, and death results in losing all carried items, though gold is retained. The game's visuals are inspired by a pixel art style, reminiscent of classic games like Doom, combined with a modern roguelike twist. Players can upgrade their character in health, strength, magic, and speed, adding a layer of progression. Era Exordium is a pixelated 2D action game in a diesel punk setting. The game can be perceived as a kind of 2D souls as ammo and resources are very limited and some enemies can kill the protagonist with almost one blow. You play as a hero whose consciousness has been transferred into a mechanical shell and you have to find out what is really behind the apocalypse that destroyed the world. Most of the time our protagonist will walk around the neighborhood, collecting useful items and supplies and cleverly fight with angry cars. Dex is a cyberpunk-themed platformer, blending classic 2D platforming with RPG elements inspired by Deus Ex. The game's narrative centers around a girl named Dex, who possesses unique hacking abilities, allowing her to dive into cyberspace without external devices. This ability attracts the attention of powerful corporations, leading to a gripping story filled with choices and consequences. Gameplay involves exploring a vast, open city, completing non-linear quests, and engaging in combat, stealth, and hacking. Z-Blip is an enthralling pirate adventure game where players command their own crew, explore a vast open world, and carve out their legacy on the high seas. The game offers a dynamic blend of gameplay elements, allowing players to engage in aggressive bounty hunts or opt for peaceful journeys filled with side quests and serene exploration. One of the game's most captivating features is its rich tapestry of side quests and character interactions, which often become the focal point of the gameplay experience. Unlike games like Stardew Valley, where daily tasks can feel pressuring, Seablip offers a more relaxed approach, allowing players to uncover new adventures at their own pace. Potion Permit stands out as an enchanting life simulation game with a focus on alchemy and village life. The game invites players to take on the role of a chemist sent to a remote village plagued by distrust towards outsiders. The game's premise revolves around crafting potions, diagnosing and treating villagers' ailments, and gathering resources from the environment. The crafting system is particularly engaging, requiring players to fit ingredients into specific patterns, adding depth to the potion-making process. The game also features combat, which, although not the main focus, adds variety to the gameplay. I hope you found some new favorites. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments which game on the list is your favorite or if there are any atmospheric pixel games I missed.